moments out of that furnace, out of that open hearth. Here's the inside of the furnace, the flames that make out steel never dying, the flames never dying either. Steel is made at 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's the temperature which remains constant in there. This is where steel is born. Any second now, the melters are getting ready. They're getting ready to tap the charge. That's John Donnelly right there, second helper on the open hearth furnace. John is 44 years old, has five kids, as old as boys in college. The melter and his helpers about to set the charge. He set it. Here comes the steel, pouring like soup, pouring like very hot soup, 285 tons of incandescent soup. Steel one way, slag the other. Steel in the big pot, slag in the small pot. Live, active steel, the sinews of our civilization at birth. Smoke of the chimneys is generated here in the open hearth furnaces. And below those chimneys are the buildings which say always fire and steel. Part of the American harvest, the New England fisheries, the Ohio steel mills, and Nebraska cornfields. at this moment is 800 miles to the west of Cleveland in Douglas County. That's 22 miles outside of Omaha. As the pickers are gathering in the corn in the field of the Valley Manufacturing Company. On this field and through the fields that stretch north to Minnesota and across the Mississippi, corn is the king. On 90 million acres every fall, farmers like Glenn Kalent here bring in the harvest. This has been a dry summer in Nebraska, and where irrigation brought water, as to this field, the corn grew high. In other Octobers, the corn huskers used to bring it in. But the mechanical pickers have come now, adding a new note to harvest time. But it's still the same spring planting and summer worrying for this farmer and for all the other farmers. He planted in May, watched it tassel out in June, he bought weeds in July, bugs in August, for rain in September, and October is the payoff, if the years are full and if the price is right. The three billion bushel harvest rustles in the fall through the 90 million acres of the Midwest. The time of gathering in, says the Old Testament. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. This is the time of the feast of the harvest, when men have gathered in their labors out of the fields. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice. Howdy, folks. Welcome to the State Fair of Texas. This is Big Tex saying, enjoy yourself. Stay as long as you like. Have fun and make yourself at home. Well, Texas, the eyes of America are upon you. each year, all Texas busts loose here on the fairgrounds. It's October in Dallas. 
and the fairs in the air. There are nearly 300,000 of us here today, and it's great to have you all with us at this moment through the eyes of live television. We've had a real good year down here in Texas. Picked almost four million bales of cotton, and got a fair price for it, too. Found some more oil out in the panhandle, down around Corpus Christi, and shipped over two and a half million head of cattle off the market. Cattle, that's Texas. There's some young fellas here hoping to win some prizes, and maybe you'd like to meet them a little later. And what goes with cattle? Black cowboys, of course. Texas cowboys. From the Diamond D and the Walking M, the Circle S and the Bar BH, and just dozens of other Texas ranchers. And kids, kids, and more kids. We've had a bumper baby crop of it in Texas this year. Got almost a quarter of a million brand new Texans coming into the world. And that's something worth celebrating, too. Yes, sir, kiddos and grown-ups letting off steam. It's a happy Sunday at the fair. Crowd and act. That's the fair. Under the wide blue sky. There's a lot to see at the fair. Come on here, honey. Here's a little girl here. Right here. Right here. Take the elevator. Get right up here. Did you ever play one? Say no, honey. Here's a little girl right here. Look, I'll show you. Hold your hand out like this. You don't need this expensive stuff. Now, this is the last day for the Bad, Bad, Bears Big Pan American Livestock Exposition. And these are champions of the dairy cattle division. They're the finest of their breeds. Now, these grand champion jerseys here, they're worth about $15,000 a pair. <laughs> Now, here's royalty, folks. They're champions of the beef cattle division. They're the best of a million dollars worth of purebred cattle here at the fair. Shorthorns. Pretty. Raymond, they've got sweat glands. They can stand the Texas heat. Now, meet up with the grand champion, Santa Gertrude. Their breed developed right here in Texas, down on the King Ranch. That big bull, he weighs a ton. The pair of them are worth probably $25,000. Now, the junior livestock show starts tomorrow. Uh, first place. Did he? Dry, dry lot. What do you expect to win with him here, blue ribbon? I hope so. Well, I certainly hope you do, too. If you win a blue ribbon, he'll, he'll be a prime steer. You know, that's the best beef we produce. Yes, sir, it is. And, of course, that's the kind of beef people like to eat, too. And you boys are doing a, lot, a good job in bringing that kind of beef to us here at this Pan American Livestock Exposition of the State Fair of Texas. That's it. And we're looking for a big show next week. Uh, and I certainly hope that you get a good price for this, dear. What do you expect to get for it? I'd like to get uh, about 40 to 45 cents more. Well, well, I hope you can get it. We'll try to get it for you. And uh, as, as big and as smooth he is, what did he weigh? He weighed 11.50. What did he weigh when you got him? Eight, uh, uh. Now you tell me. Where are you? Cutting horse now working in the championship finals of the Open Cutting Horse Contest at the State Fair of Texas here in Dallas, Texas, is Marion's Girl. Owned by Marion, sometimes known as Sourdough Flint of Midland, Texas, and ridden by Buster Cowden, Buster Welch of North Cowden, Texas. Now, this bay registered Port Horse Mare, a seven-year-old mare. It was the world's champion cutting horse of 1954. Now, that really means she won more money than any other cutting horse in the United States. And she is currently standing in fourth place this year and was champion cutting horse here at the State Fair of Texas last year. She has plenty of style.